three, two, one, let's go. Hello, family. Today is Tuesday, March 26th. It is another day the Lord has made. I'm your brother, Adam, with the Watchman Adam News Channel. Back with our latest end time news update. Family, let's go. Let me start the video by saying thank you for tuning back in with us today. Guys, your love and support of the channel means the world to us. Thank you so much. And if you can, give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way you'll be notified every time we upload an end times video. Now, while we're an end time news channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our creator, the Most High God, and his son, Jesus. And nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Guys, in my opinion, that is the definition of true love right there. Now to our end time news update. Alrighty family, we're back with the end time news update. And guys, we got a very interesting update today. I'm going to ask if you can to please share it. Family, so much is going on in this crazy world that we live in that points to the times we're living in. And it's very important to have an understanding of end time events that are going down all across the world. So family, without further delay, let's get into our end time news update because you can truly see Bible prophecy in today's headline news. Alrighty, headline number one comes from the Watchers on March 25th and this end time headline reads, Intense rainfall and hailstorms hit Cuba, leaving 260,000 customers without power. So, intense rainfall and hailstorms hit western Cuba on March 22nd, causing widespread damage, including downed trees, flash flooding, and power outages that left over a quarter million people in the dark without power. Now, family, you can see in that picture right there, that's some really big hail that fell down on the ground in Cuba, guys. We're seeing more crazy end times weather day by day. And the closer we get to the Lord's return, that trend's just going to continue. Now to headline number two. And it comes from WBALTV11 on March 26th. And this end time headline reads, Key Bridge collapses in Patapasco River in Baltimore after vessel hits support column. State of emergency declared. Now family, this happened in Baltimore. And check out this video footage. This was really a tense situation. Check it out. The pillar of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, sending the principal section of that bridge into the river there. You can see it on your screen. Wow. Uh, officials say two people have been plucked from the water, one in serious condition, so serious they are unable to debrief that person. And Maryland's governor has declared a state of emergency. This is a bridge. So the governor declared a state of emergency and a search and rescue operation is underway after Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed overnight as a result of a ship strike. Now family, is it Francis Scott Key, the person that wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm kind of curious to know that. So the bridge collapsed around 1.30 a.m. Tuesday and officials had confirmed that a construction crew was on the bridge. Two people have rescued so far, and one is seriously hurt, taken to the trauma center. As many as seven people may be unaccounted for. Now guys, this is a picture of what it looks like this morning. Something don't sit well with me about this at all, guys. I don't know if there's something more to this they're not telling us. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. Now let's jump to headline number three. And it comes from Earth.com on March 25th. And this... End time headline reads, Extended alert, severe solar storm warning, a war is possible as far as South Alabama. Family, we got more signs in the sky right here. This is kind of crazy. Check this out. So, a significant geomatic solar storm is currently in progress, sparked by recent solar eruptions that have hurled plasma towards Earth. 
Now, this atmospheric phenomenon is set to illuminate skies with the northern lights, extending unusually far south to regions including Alabama and Northern California as early as Monday. So family, this is yet another sign in the sky, and a lot of us here in the United States might be treated to a rare event and get to see northern lights. Guys, be looking up for that. They say it's going to happen around Monday. Be very interesting to see. Guys, let us know if you end up seeing the Northern Lights. Now the headline number four. And it comes from WND on March 24th. And this end time headline reads, Teacher prays before school. All oh, H-E-double-L breaks loose. Now family, this one's sad right here and just wild. Check this out. So, a school district in Texas is being taken to court because of its decision to ban a teacher from praying. It is the American Center for Law and Justice that has gone to the federal court in Houston on behalf of Stacy Barber, an employee of the Katy Independent School District. The defendants are the district and Brian Rams, principal of Cardiff Junior High School. Now, the federal court filing explains that the district violated and continues to violate her rights to religious expression by prohibiting her from praying when students might be present, even if that prayer occurs off the clock. The ACLJ explained this case involves a teacher who wanted to engage in prayer outside the school building before the school day begins. And family, honestly, I don't see nothing wrong with that at all, but let's get back to the article. Now, this is what her legal team said, and I quote, Every year, millions of people gather at school flagpoles to pray before the school day begins. The ACLJ is very proud to stand in support of See You at the Poll, a prayer rally for students and participating adults to lift up their schools in prayer. Our client has prayed at the poll every year on behalf of her students, end quote. This year, she gathered with two friends and fellow teachers to pray at the school flagpole. The school principal called these teachers into his office. He told them they could not pray at the poll or in the presence of students because if they did so, students may see and join in. And he told them it was against the law for them to pray publicly where students could see them and then pointed them to a school policy that prohibited teachers from praying in the presence of the students. Now, family, that is just absolutely bonkers right there, if you ask me. Now, however, the ACLJ explained the facts that the Constitution protects the rights of religious employees to pray even publicly. They do not somehow lose their constitutional rights just by being government employees. Now, this is another quote from her legal team. Listen to this, and I quote, a school can prevent employees from getting distracted when they are supposed to be acting according to their official duties. But what it cannot do is prevent school employees from expressing their religious faith at all, her legal team said, end quote. The school was sent a demand letter giving instructions to stop infringing Barbara's First Amendment rights and responded, but then abruptly doubled down on its position. It continues to insist that teachers or other employees can pray or read religious materials during a time when students are not present. Now, family, I remember when they took prayer out of schools. I was still in school when that happened, and I want to say this. It was shortly after that happened that you started seeing all these school S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G-S happen, and family, that's no coincidence. It's almost like when they took prayer out of school, they removed God's hedges of protection off of the schools. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the headline number five, and it comes from World Israel News on March 26th. And this end time headline reads, Netanyahu cancels delegation to the United States after Biden withholds UN Security Council vote. So Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Monday canceled a high-level delegation to Washington after the Biden administration failed to veto a U.N. Security Council resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in the WAR against Hamas, the Prime Minister's office announced. After four failed attempts, the Security Council passed its first resolution calling for immediate halt to the military operation in the Strip 
until the end of Ramadan on April 9th. The resolution, which also called for the release of Israeli hostage, was supported by 14 nations, including veto holders China, Russia, and the United Kingdom and France. The United States Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield abstained, allowing the measure to pass 14-0. And following Monday's vote, Jerusalem announced that in light of the change in the American position, Prime Minister Netanyahu decided that the delegation will not depart for the United States. So family, over recent months, they've tried to do this to Israel, but the United States has always used its veto power and blocked it. Well, they didn't do it this time. So Netanyahu canceled the visit to the United States, and family, I'm going to say this. Don't be surprised if some major event happens here in the United States now that the United States has done this to Israel. Now let's jump to headline number six. And it comes from End of the American Dream on March 25th. And this end time headline reads, Three very unusual things that are happening in the heavens right now. Family right here, we have yet more signs in the sky. Let's look at them. Now family, this article points out three signs in the heaven that have recently went down. And let's take a look at them. Number one was a massive geomatic storm that hit the earth on Sunday. The good news is that this storm was not strong enough to damage our power grids. Now number two is something we talked about a lot on this channel. The devil comet continues to race through the solar system and could be visible to the naked eye. And remember, it only comes around once every 71 years. And number three happened the other night. It was a lunar eclipse that painted the sky red over much of the planet on Monday. And I find it interesting the next day the United States turns its back on Israel. I don't think that's a coincidence. And family, of course, the next major sign in the sky will be April 8th with the Great American Solar Eclipse, which is only days away now, guys. And like I've told you before, I truly believe this is the sign of Jonah, a major warning to the United States. Now let's jump to headline number 7, and it comes from the Watchers.News on March 25th. And this end time headline reads, 1,000 homes destroyed following magnitude 6.9 earthquake in Papua New Guinea. State of emergency declared. Now we talked about this quake in our weekend news update. Now let's look at it a little bit further. So in Sunday's weekend news update, we talked about this massive earthquake. Now it's being reported that over 1,000 homes were destroyed and a state of emergency has been declared as they're still surveying the damage, and they're saying that number could rise dramatically. And as you can see in that picture right there, that home has seen better days, family. Now, family, this is Matthew 24-7 all day long. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Matthew 24-7, the prophetic words of Jesus. So family, speaking of earthquakes, what you say we look at earthquake activity the past 24 hours? Let's go! Now this report says in the past 24 hours, there were 912 quakes up to a magnitude 5.4. 556 of them below a magnitude 2, 226 quakes between a magnitude 2 and 3, 99 quakes between a magnitude 3 and 4, 27 quakes between a magnitude 4 and 5, and 4 of the earthquakes were above a magnitude 5. Family, earthquake activity is picking up all across the world in diverse places, just like Jesus Messiah said it would. Keep on looking up. Our redemption draweth nigh. Alrighty, my beautiful channel family. That's our end time news update for Tuesday, March 26, 2024. Family, as always, I want to give you a big thank you for watching as we put a lot of time and work into these update videos. So you guys watching them, it truly means the world to us. Thank you so much. We love you guys. And family, if there's anything we didn't mention in this video that's happened in the past few days that you think significant, man, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. We would greatly appreciate it, family. Now, family, let me give you some good news. And the good news is, nearly 2,000 years ago, Jesus laid down his life so you may live. The man who never sinned paid our sin debt. He was nailed on the cross had a crown of thorns put on his head, nails on his hand. The man was beaten in front of his mother, the man who never sinned. 
and the enemy thought he defeated Jesus. Because so Jesus lay dead in a grave in a tomb for how long, guys? Three days, three days, three days. But guess what? No tomb could hold our Messiah. Jesus defeated death. He defeated the tomb. He ascended to go be with his Father, the Most High God. And on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today could be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The Most High God is faithful and just. He will forgive you your sins. And family, that's facts. And family, one more thing. It is 11.59 p.m. Wake up. Maranatha. Jesus is coming soon. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. For your redemption draweth nigh. Guys, we are in the final moments at the end of days. You guys stay strong and keep on looking up. Because that trumpet is about to blow. And family, when it does, you guys already know. Let's go, Harpazzo! Well, family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. We love you guys. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share it and drop a comment because it helps us out so much and we do appreciate it. And if it's your first time to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And remember, no request is too small and no request is too big for our guide. And that's facts. And family, if you check our community wall, we share the GoFundMe as somebody in our channel family. It's the Clems. They're really good people, man. They're, they serve the Most High God. They're family friends. And they need to get out of the neighborhood they're in. They're about to be evicted out of their home. Go check our community wall. You'll see the GoFundMe. And seek the Most High about helping them, please, guys. Because they truly need our help. And if you want to make a donation to what we do on the Watchman Adam News Channel, check the description box below. We have ways you can do so. As always, please pray about it first. Well, my beautiful channel family, to next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1. Guys, I love you and see you in my next video. Take care and keep on looking up.